Hey guys, Stephen Gilbert here with SoulWeb.org, where internet marketing meets integrity. And for you new guys on my list, welcome to the club. I do things a little bit differently. I tend to uh, review products honestly and fairly, and even tell you when things aren't right or correct. My goal is really just to cut through all the bullshit so that you can make sound choices for your business and pick up products that you uh, feel like you can actually use. Um, I tend to do no pressure type videos that are facts only. Um, so with that said, today I'm gonna be reviewing Push Leads. Now, Push Leads is a really cool software that basically allows you to send push notifications through um, your browser. So if you have a website, you install this, uh, you, well, you use this software, and what it allows you to do is make a one-click button on your site. And when visitors click that, they're going to be added to your push leads notification list. And basically what that means is, instead of having to worry about paying costs for an autoresponder or worry about writing emails, all you have to do is send a push notification. And that push notification comes straight through your browser, just like this, whether they have Chrome, Safari, Firefox. It's actually really cool. And I have a demo video uh, to show you here in a bit. Now, the product goes live at 9 a.m. Eastern and I wanted to get this video out to you a couple hours early so you could see if it's right for you because if it is you're gonna get a pretty big discount by being here right when it launches now here's the main reason I think push leads is cool one everyone who ever clicks that button um, is going to receive that notification. You don't have to worry about hitting the inbox. You don't have to worry about doing, you know, going to spam. All you have to do is send out that push notification. And what's cool is it'll even send to mobile as well, which I think is extremely powerful. I think push leads are going to be, I'm sorry, push notifications are going to be probably the some of the most powerful and uh, upcoming forms of marketing that we're going to see this year in 2016. I think it's going to be the big trend because it just is amazing. Now, I'm sure you want to see a demo here. So let me pull one up. Here's an example of what it looks like. This is the type of push notification they're going to see right here. It's going to pop up in the corner of their browser, no matter what browser they use, and it's really Awesome. Now I've got a demo video for you guys, but before I we, we go to that, I know you guys like to know what the what the OTOs are. So OTO one is going to be basically the pro version of this software. The front end software uh, basically allows you to send these push notifications to anyone and everyone. Um, it's it, it's great. Now OTO one is a pro version, right? It allows you to integrate with your own domain. It allows you to schedule the push notifications to go out at any time you want. Um, it allows you to push images and GIFs. So instead of seeing this text, it would be like an image or something. That could be pretty cool. And it also has the 100% reach feature, which is the big one, which basically means if the user isn't online, the notification will be sent as soon as they open their browser. I think that's really awesome. And that makes OTO one easily worth it, especially at the small price of $47. Now, <clears throat> OTO two, is going to be the developer version, which allows you to make it for your clients. You'll know if that's right for you. Um, the price for that is going to be $97. I think that's up to you whether that's worth it or not. You'll you have to decide that for your own. And OTO3 is the white label version where you can sell it as yourself. And the price for that is going to be $197. Now, the downsell on OTO2 is going to be $97. The downsell on OTO3 is going to be $99. Um, you know, very particular marketers with certain sets of skills uh, can usually decide if that's right for them. I'm not sure. I think the one that for me that I, I, I'm going to buy is going to be OTO1 because basically that allows you to send it to everyone. And even so, even if they don't have their browser open, next time they open it, that notification will go through. And I think that's really, really cool. Now, I've blabbered on enough. This launches in a few hours at 9 a.m. I've got some really cool bonuses for you below this video that no one else is offering. So be sure to check those out. With that said, let's hop into a demo video. I think you guys are really gonna like it. Hello, and welcome to the demo video of Push Leads. We're going to start by creating our first application. You need a name and your personal subdomain for Push Leads. For example, we'll go with testing and our personal subdomain will be testing. I'm going to hit save. In case the subdomain is already taken, you should get this error, so you should change it. I'll, I'll go with testing2. Okay. 
So our subdomain was created and our application is right here. Our first step is getting this um, notification which says our application is currently being created. Now for around 15 minutes you can manage your application but you can't send push notifications or gather your audience. But you can put up this script or start installing the WordPress plugin. Either way you can start um, making the application to feel as you want it. The first thing you would like to do is go to settings. This can be changed at any time and you don't have to change anything if you've already included the script on your website. You can put up a title, description, allow button text and disallow button text. You can show this on mobile or not. You can customize the visual aspects of the opt-in box for your website. For example, the template the position and the alignment and the opt-in text for when a pop-up will open and ask the person to sign up for notifications. You can customize the branding of the push notifications and the pop-up, adding your business icon or logo. You can upload it right here. And if you want, you can set up your Google um, project number and API key for Google Cloud Messaging an in-depth tutorial will come up here into the resources to teach you how to get this for uh, your application. We recommend doing this directly at the start or later on, but it's much better if you do it at the start because people, if unlucky, would get double opt-ins. Okay, so we recommend that you do this right away if you want or postpone it for a while. <laughs> This is for each application that you create. So we allow this Google project number for each application. You can have as many applications as you want, depending on your purchase. You can also create landing pages if you want to start up gathering your audios, but this feature is available only if you purchase the OTO one. When sending a notification, you can put up a title, a body, a link, and an image if you want to. So you can leave this blank if you don't want to use a custom image and we will use your business icon. If you want to use a custom image for, for this notification, you will need to use a self-hosted one. So just paste the link to your image here. Make sure it ends in .png, .gpg, or you could attempt to use GIF when they will work properly. This is depending on the push notification API of each browser if you want, just go ahead and use the GIF image. Once they support it, we will also support it. You also have statistics in here and all your notifications will come up here. Right now, I'm going to send a notification. Unfortunately, it won't reach anyone. So I'll just go with test, test, no link and no image. And I'm going to hit save, send. My message was sent. It will be sent around this time, depending on the queue. This is usually accurate. Now, this one didn't send yet because I don't have absolutely no subscribers. So if you want, you can schedule your notifications if you don't have subscribers. If you send a notification before gathering a list, this one will stop trying to be sent only after you have your first subscriber. So you can pretty much put up here a message uh, while you're preparing your application and when you sign up, they will get it. Not usually recommended, but you can do it. <coughs> My application is still being created. And after, again, after it's been created, I can start gathering my audience. Just paste this on your site or install the WordPress plugin and it will work out of the box. I'm going to show you how I'm going to put this script on my site and what it will show in just a minute. Okay, and we are back. Right now I've added this into my WordPress website, not using the application, but using the JavaScript code. Now, what I did here was copy this link and put it within my WordPress post, okay? You can pretty much do this or you can install the WordPress plugin and after you've configured it under settings push leads you will see up something here called push leads 
and you can choose any of your applications at any time. Let me show you how the administration actually works and looks. So after logging in, you can see that the tells me as I'm currently connected and uh, I can log in using my push leads account right here and I will have all my applications listed. If you purchase the OTO one you will have the option to use your own domain for this uh, notifications and gathering your list. This is much more recommended and uh, it will be done automatically if you have HTTPC as a SSL connection and have the OTO one will automatically use your own domain and you won't have this uh, box anymore you, users will come up here with a notification to directly subscribe to these notifications for example right now when I hit allow you will see that this browser is asking me that I want to receive push notifications from here you know and I can say always receive notifications and um, if you're using your own domain, you will have it directly here, this uh, uh, message, you know. So users skip a step. This helps you get more opt-ins and uh, we recommend that everyone gets an SSL connection and the OTO one to make sure that they get the best opt-in rates available. Thank you for watching this demonstration video and uh, I hope you like it. Again, let's send the notification together. You can see that when I'm looking again at the dashboard, if my app is already configured, this message will go away. It will go away in a few moments. Just wait, because the app is working right now for me, but it also, um, it also may not be available in each country while the domain is being propagated. Again, this usually takes 15 minutes. You can see that we created the application less than seven minutes ago. So right now I'm going to send a message. And unfortunately, you won't see it because my screen is really big, but you will hear it. Yeah, so you can see it reaches one, the delivery is one, and if I go to the statistics, it will tell me that it reached uh, one person on Firefox and it delivered to one person that's a 100% reach rate and the click rate is zero because I didn't have a link set up okay okay well have a great one and have fun using push leads